In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate an Android modal design. Let's get started. So starting off, I'm opening up a project that I'm currently working on. This is an Android application design that I'm designing in Sketch. Currently, I'm working on the trash and deletion flow of this application. In the trash folder, the user can see all of the items in their trash and they have an option to delete all of them at once. If they wish to view any of the items, they can click into it and then get to the detail state. If the user taps delete all, then this modal will then appear asking them to verify if they would like to remove all of the items from their trash. And if they say delete all, then I want this empty state to occur. So for this design, I'm going to bring my sketch design into origami and then animate it. If you're brand new to this workflow, I have an intro video about how to get started using origami and also a video that goes over how I import my sketch designs into origami. I'll link both of them in the description below. So first I'm going to grab each element one by one and then import them into origami. Next for organizational purposes, I just like to label everything so it's clearly identifiable. So I'm also going to import the modal design from Sketch. Now I'm going to want to include some interactivity so when the user taps delete all, that modal will appear and the user can delete all of the items. To do this, I'm going to add an interaction to this layer, the delete button layer. So I'm going to go to touch and then tap. And so when the user taps on this delete all button, these values become true. So if someone taps on delete all, I want to turn on a switch that transforms the opacity of the overlay layer and that modal layer. So that overlay layer will become visible. So it will go from an opacity of zero to one and this modal layer will also become visible. So its opacity will also transition from zero to one. I'm also going to want to include a little animation to this. So I'm going to add a classic animation that occurs in 0.2 seconds and has a particular curve associated with it. If we tap, now this modal appears. If someone clicks cancel at this point, I want it to revert this interaction and go back to the original state. So I essentially want to turn off this switch. I'm going to add and hit area. So I'm going to go to this plus then click hit area and then say place layer. I'm going to relabel it cancel and move it so it fits exactly over that cancel button. Again, I'm going to go to touch and then tap. So if someone were to tap on this red area, I want to turn off that switch. So I'm going to go to tap and then turn off. And then I'm going to uncheck setup mode so then it becomes invisible. So now if someone taps here, it disappears. However, if someone says delete all, I'm going to want to remove all the items in the list. So this will create a different interaction. So I'm going to go to this plus again, add another hit area for the delete all button. Click touch and then tap. So if someone taps this, I also want it to revert this whole interaction, but I also want something else to occur. So I'm going to attach the tap to this and I'm going to make it an or interaction, meaning that if either of these scenarios are true, I would like the switch to be turned off. I also want another interaction to occur. So I'm going to add another switch patch that will only turn on when this one is tapped. That will be a transition of one to zero of the opacity of the messages layer. I'm going to want to add the same kind of animation layer. So let's just play it and see where we are. I'm going to click refresh, delete and cancel, removes the modal, delete and then delete all, removes everything, which is what we want to occur. However, I'm also going to want to include an empty state here so the user knows that the trash is now empty. 
I'm also going to want to remove this delete all button because now it's not applicable. So this same transition can affect this delete button. So I'm just going to attach that transition to the opacity layer and then add another transition of zero to one of the empty state, which I have to still import from sketch. So I'm going to go back into sketch and add in this empty state. So this empty state will become visible after the switch is turned on. So I'm going to grab this transition and affect the opacity of this layer. So now let's watch it. I refresh it, say delete all. This modal appears when I say delete all, everything disappears and now the trash is empty. So that's how I add animations to my modal designs in origami. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.